not love remains in death. All right? So, if you don't love, you dead. And he says, not only are you dead, you remain dead. All right? Anyone who hates his brother is a murderer. And you know that no murder, murderer has eternal life in him. And so if you hate individuals, you're a murderer. How you feel about that? <laughs> I just want to know how y'all feel about it. I mean, I ain't right. <coughs> this ain't my book. I just pick it up and read. What y'all what y'all think about that? You're a murderer if you if you hate them. And don't sit up here and lie and say you don't hate nobody. <coughs> We gonna have this discussion again? No. <laughs> really? What did the, what did Leah say? Hate was a strong dislike. Right. Right. So we gonna play that? Right. We gonna play that game again? Come on, sister, talk up. <laughs> Come on. Okay. Come on. That's what I'm saying. The conjunction is but. Okay. The conjunction is but. But hate, hate, and dislike is two different things. Strong, strong dislike means that I hate you enough that if you needed a cup of water and you was about to die, I would not give it to you. Mm -hmm. That's strong dislike. Mm -hmm. Now, dislike is the fact that if you don't speak to me, I can stand not speaking to you. That's, that's, dislike. That's, that's dislike. Or either dislike is. So they ain't first cousin, they ain't no kin. They, they, can, ain't, they, can, they can be they kids, folks. They no, kids. I'm talking about hate and dislike. They ain't no kin, they separate, they ain't. They third they, to the fourth. <laughs> <laughs> you are. They, 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 they two sister children. <laughs> <laughs> they first cousins, like. <laughs> They close. Well, you know, they're alone. Yeah, they're alone. They're like, all right. Mm -hmm. yeah. Anybody else got a miss? Talk this about hate. Mm -hmm. About hate. Yeah. And then hate is like them folks that attach them bombs to themselves and blow folks. Now that's 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 hate. Okay. You know what I mean? Well, what if I told you it's some folk that can do you hate you? Well, I know that. What well, okay <laughs> then? What well, okay then? Well, what about their hate? Well, see, that kind of hate like that is, is hate because of what I, what I, what I won't do, and and you know, sooner or later, you know, they'll get over it. You don't but, think you have people that hate you in your family that would love I, to see I, you? Know what I do? That would love to see you hurt no. or even dead. For 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 that moment, until 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 they can like you know get together what it is that they trying to get together. But yeah, I guess. I, I, I agree with that. Okay, I heard what you said. What you said? Some of them go to the grave, hey. Yes! I mean, yeah. Your folks. Yeah. Yo, all that. <laughs> Y'all look crazy. <laughs> I mean, it's true. And so as much, and I hear, you know, Ralph trying to free her case, and as much as you as much as you don't want to admit that hate and strong dislike are together, they are. Because you can hate somebody to in such you can hate somebody in such a way that you want harm. You want them to be harmed. In other words, if somebody, at least one person in your life, that if something happened to them, you gonna be glad about it. You got at least one person. Don't don't try to be, don't try to be, don't try to be all deep. Don't try to be all spiritual. It's at least one person that if something happened to them, you gonna be low key glad. <laughs> Y'all, oh y'all gonna do this? <laughs> oh y'all gonna do this? So you trying to tell me I can't be this pleased with Sheikha and not hate her? That's not true. You can be displeased with Sheikha, but your actions gonna tell me whether you really hate her or not. Because I was displeased with that prophet, and I got up and left Sunday night. Well, that don't mean I hate her. That don't mean I hate her. Okay. But I was displeased with that line he was doing. Now, hey, 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 it wasn't no dislike. It was just told out of order. I mean, it was just, it was just because I just don't like people intelligence being played upon. And then when somebody stand up and read the scripture and take a word. 
But then he oh, takes no. three eighteen. Well, see, that's what I'm talking about. Cause see, if the Lord had told me to ask y'all for a seed, I'm gonna go in my pocket first. All right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but see, God is not responsible for what you say, but He's responsible for what He say. That's it. Mm -hmm. That's it. So He, God, don't back up what He says. But now you can go out there on your own, and that's what happened. Come on. Cause then nobody get up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm talking about did nobody get up with no 318. <laughs> because let me show you, let me help you with the spiritual because this is gonna help some of y'all, because I know some of y'all believe in that. Let me help you out. One day Jesus was in the temple and he was watching the offering. And there were some folk that were putting some money in the offering. And you know, the disciples like, yeah, Jesus, you know, them, them hey, it's some big bottle shot call. Then there was a lady that came through the line. And Jesus said, now, this is who y'all need to watch. That's right. He said, watch her. Wait a minute. What are we watching her for? She gave three pennies. Mm -hmm. And Jesus said she's gave more mm -hmm. than anybody that's came through the line. You know why? Because he said she's giving all she had. Mm -hmm. So, my thing about that money issue and a dollar, if God know, if God know my heart and he know I ain't got for two dollars. Mm -hmm. See, that's why I don't listen. I was at full golf a couple of weeks ago, and you know they were calling for them off and all that kind of stuff. And I was this they ain't know how much I had in my envelope. They were saying hundred dollars, I was going right on up there with my twenty dollars. <laughs> <laughs> walking up there proud. <laughs> if, I had up there, walking. if you ain't if God gonna bless me, he gonna bless me. He know what I got. <laughs> so I ain't finna just show out the try I went right on up there with them twenty dollars in the envelope. <laughs> Stepping through the door. <laughs> When people play on people intelligent, yes, what it said, and it wasn't nothing spiritual about it. it just, beside the spiritual part, don't stand up and say, "Oh, this means money." No, wait a minute, sir. You don't know the English language because in the English language, "dope" coincide with money when used into the mid fifties or sixties. So that's a lie. So you stand up there saying that means money? No, it don't, sir. That means bread. <laughs> And John Michael could have realized that. <laughs> but then folks say, oh, you know, he's a he prophet. Okay, I'll keep on telling y'all, watch these self-made prophets. People that really have a gift don't even want you to, I mean, you know, they just blend in. They ain't even trying to do that. So, well, anyway, that's a whole nother <laughs> Y'all got me off track. What are you talking about? <laughs> we talking about, go back to what you said. Okay, you say, you, if you don't, go back, say, say what you said again. I can be displeased with Sheikah yeah. and not hate her. You can be displeased with her now, hey. Okay, yeah. Displeased right. and dislike is two different things. Just gotcha. understand that. Y'all look the words up. English words. You gotta look it up in the Greek. Dislike and displeased are two different things. I could be displeased with you and still like you. You, we displeased with our children, but we don't put them out the house every time they mess up. We are displeased with them. But we don't dislike. I hope y'all. I hope y'all like y'all too. Okay. All right. So he says, uh, 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 uh. Anyone who hates his brother murder, and you know that no murder has eternal life in him. And I'm gonna come back and deal with that in a minute. Now, verse 16 says what? Perceive we the love of God because He laid down His life for us, and we ought to lay down our lives for the brother. Wait a minute, John. Hold on. I got some issues with that now. He says, how we know what love is, is that Jesus Christ laid down his life for us, and we ought to lay down our lives for other brothers. How do y'all feel about that? Laying your life down for other folks. How you feel about it? <laughs> Who y'all breathing hard? <laughs> How you feel about laying your life down for anybody else? Somebody else. <laughs> anybody in here been in the military? <laughs> People that been in the military, they do this every day. Because the only brothers and sisters that you have is those that are with you. And so it's your job to look out for each other. And so the love and the care and the 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 the, the looking out that the soldiers have for each other. What, what John is saying, that's the same love that we should have for one another. 
then we should always have our brothers and our sisters back. And if need so, be willing to jump in front of a buddy. Yeah, they, I know that's, that's y'all don't like that type of team. All right? If you love somebody, you'll take a buddy for <laughs> Y'all do like it. Y'all like, uh-uh. Huh? <laughs> you gotta wear a bulletproof vest. Oh. So that's what that's what the word said. It, it, um, um, and he's talking about the example of Christ. That Christ laid down his life. And so if remember, this book is written to Christians, it's written to us, it's written to believers, and so we're followers of Christ. And so not literally, you don't have to jump in front of the house, not, not literally, but figuratively. If you see harm being done to one of your sisters and brothers, you should be willing to help them. That's what he's saying. All right, so relax. You ain't got to jump in no book. All right, read on. But whoso hath the world's, this world's goods and seeth his brother have need, and shutteth up his bowels of compassion from him. How dwell is the love of God in him? Okay, I just I just explained it. So what he's saying is, if you can help and you don't help, mm -hmm. and you know you can help, I know what it's like. No, no, what it's like. Sure. He says, if you have a material, you have a possession to see your brother in need, but don't have pity. How can the love of God even be in you? <laughs> Let's talk about it. Let's talk about people that borrow money from us and don't give it back. <laughs> but see, I got to a point now, I don't I don't really lie to folk. I used to lie to folk. I don't lie to folk. I say now, I ain't gonna tell you I don't have it. I ain't gonna tell you I don't have it. But what I am gonna tell you is, why do you have to keep coming? Well, that's what I'm gonna ask you. Why is something you doing? Because see, it's one thing for folk to ask you for something, and then you see everything they do. They turn it up everywhere. They they shop, they hair cut, they got on Jordans and all that kind of stuff. Then they didn't got your money. <laughs> <laughs> Talker, you could not. <laughs> let's talk. Let's talk. Yeah, let's talk. Let's talk about this. you how you allow them to treat. And so at some point you got to have a stop sign. Because what happens is we continue to be enabled. All right? Because here's, here's the number one thing that most men I'm in men in here tonight. We're in here for y'all. Let, let me see who else will fight with me. David, David, David and David Jr. will fight with me. Let me see Deke. I don't know. He be at that pants on. But one thing about it is most individuals, I'll just say individuals, I ain't gonna put men in. Most people hate when somebody else count they pay period. Yes. Or watch their pay period. More than them, the people that's making the money. Now, now that just, I mean, that just get folk. I mean, you know, folks start calling you two or three days before, and then 
You know, sometimes, because you got so many bills, sometimes you be, you know, be getting it paid week, and then they, they pop off and say, ain't it your pay? Wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> ain't it your pay week? Wait a minute. I went to work for that. Yeah. I, and so most people get irritated by that. But the whole thing is, and that, that's me and that way, especially somebody that's waiting on your pay period. <laughs> but they don't want nobody, they don't want you to say nothing about their pay period. But they know your pay period. Your pay period in their phone, it goes off, and they, you know, but I mean, so, so the whole thing is what the Bible is saying if you have possessions and you can share, you should share. But I hear what you said at what point is enough enough? Now, that's that's between you and your, your God and your relationship and with the person because it may take some person 10 years to cut for a it may take me 10 hours <laughs> to each his own. But I do believe that what people do, because we're Christian, they play on our sympathy. I get this all the time, but you're supposed to be a preacher. And I am. Amen. And I'm going to be one, but you ain't going to get my money. <laughs> Not when you continue to show me that you ain't going to do the right thing with me. And so it's, it's amazing to me. Uh, I, was in, I was in Tennessee, and somebody, I was in, getting something to eat at McDonald's, and there was a homeless dude, and he was like, uh, you know, I need, you know, I kind of get $5. I was like, yeah, I got five dollars. I said, you, you know, you hungry for going to McDonald's? You want, no, I don't want nothing to eat. Well, you don't want my five dollars. <laughs> Cause see, if you hungry, you gonna go on on you gonna you gonna follow that job. So sometimes people play on our emotions, but but the Bible is clear that we should have a heart for people. All right, that's what it, that's that's what John is letting know that we should have a heart for people if we have it. Now, my mama always told me this, and I have taken this to heart. Don't ever give anybody anything you need. Because there's a possibility that you might not get it back. Even with a bar. If you can't afford not to have that, you, might, you, need, you need to keep it. Because once it leaves you, it may not come back. It's just like a person mind. When you lose your mind, it may come to visit, but it ain't going to always come back. All of it gonna come back. All right. So I spent too much time on that. All right. So uh, 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 then he says, uh, verse what, eighteen. Go ahead. My little children. Yeah. Let us not love in the word. Yeah. Neither in tongue. Uh huh. But in deed and in truth. Wait, wait a minute now. So I can't just tell you. See, that's what's wrong with folks. That's right. Too many folks telling you they love you mm -hmm. and they ain't showing you. Right. Can I tell you? This is a true story. <laughs> And I mean, I ain't bragging, it just is what it is. When I met Carol, Carol had two jobs. Which, that's fine. I mean, she's she single. I mean, you know, she make ends meet. She hustling. That's, that's, that's so nice. But when I came into her life, I said, oh, you you quit one of them. Yeah, just get you, you don't need, you don't need that. I'm, I'm here. You know, I'm here. We gonna, you know, we gonna get married. But we have people in our life that say we love us. They love us, but their actions don't speak towards their love. That's right. Mm. Y'all might well. Y'all ready to? I'm finna go down y'all road. <laughs> yeah. Because any man that's not concerned about the household don't Thank love you. you. Yeah. 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 Yes, indeed. I don't. I don't. I don't let my wife take care of me. Right. There you go. I don't allow that. Because I'm a man, I take care of her. Cause this is what the words say. I can't. Yeah, right. so, 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 so he is a different generation now. It ain't we're no different Bible. We take care of me now. The, the generation may be different, but this the Bible ain't gonna change. And so what I teach, what I tell my God daughters, yeah. But what I tell my God daughters is this, because you know, listen. All little boys can tell them they find they look pretty and all that kind of stuff. I'm gonna tell them the same thing. Now he's gonna tell you something else different. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's right. And I don't want that from And so what happens is we fall in love. Because people say they love us, but their actions don't coincide. Because it makes no sense for you to have somebody in your life that loves you and your stuff getting turned off every week. <laughs> <laughs> that ain't love. He just said, he just said, dear children, let us not love with words 
or tongue, but with actions and in truth. Now, do understand, I won't say this, let me put this in for free for those of you, those of you men that put your chest out because you take care of everything. That don't mean you run everything. That don't mean you run everything, but what it does mean, man, that you are the head sacrificer. <laughs> you the head sacrificer now. I keep telling you, and I try to help. Listen, most men that are providers, that are God-fearing men, most of them neglect themselves. They don't buy clothes. They don't. They don't have to have the latest joint. You better watch these joints. Got to have the latest everything that come out. Every new teeth and all the kind of stuff. Got to be. <laughs> men, men that are natural providers that care about their families. Most women in their life have to make them spend some money on themselves. You know why? Because if they're God fearing, we'll wear the same drawers. I mean, you know, I had I got married Carol about a couple of weeks ago. She said, Why you still I say they mine, ain't nobody saying what you Throw them away. I said, ain't nobody seeing me. <laughs> talk about in action and in truth my children and my wife come before me that's the order now you got a man that everybody else he come and then everybody else y'all better check that cause that ain't no man that's a leech <laughs> what you say, right? <laughs> okay I ain't, that's a whole other I ain't finna, I, I ain't finna y'all ain't finna give me to go down Y'all got a thing to say about that before I leave? I'm going to verse 19. <laughs> With actions. Remember. So you can't just tell me you love me and you ain't, you ain't concerned about. You ain't concerned about nothing going on over here. You got to be concerned about what's going on over here if you, if you truly love the person that you, that you, that you, that you say you love you. All right. Verse 19. And hereby we know that we are of the truth. Right there, uh huh. And shall assure our hearts before Him. Uh huh. Go ahead. For if our hearts condemn us, yeah. God is greater than our heart and knoweth all things. Okay, so the Lord know if your motives are pure or not. Even if you're doing stuff in action, uh, you doing something to get some. He already know that. He know everything. He know if if, if he know if your heart greater. You know. All right. Verse twenty one. I gotta get chapter four. Go ahead. Beloved, if our hearts condemn us not, yeah. then have we confidence toward God. Mm -hmm. And whatsoever we ask, we receive of Him, mm -hmm. because we keep His commandments mm -hmm. and do those things that are pleasing in His sight. Okay, come on. And this is His commandment mm -hmm. that we should believe <clears throat> on the name of the Son Jesus Christ mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and love one another as He gave us commandment. Okay, go ahead. And He that keepeth His commandment dwelleth in Him, yep. and He in Him. Yep. And hereby we know that. He abided in us yeah. by the Spirit which He had given us. All right, back to verse 23. I just want to highlight this, then we're going to go to chapter 4, then we got about 10 minutes, and then we'll be finished. Um, and this is the command to believe in the name of His <laughs> Son, Jesus Christ, and to love one another as He commanded us. I told you last week that a lot of people don't have a problem with God, but they have a problem with Jesus. <coughs> <clears throat> you know, because I have nothing to do, I was watching The View today. And they were in an argument about creation and evolution. And so, of course, uh, what's her name that was on uh, Full House? Cameron. Uh, what her name is? Y'all know what I'm talking about. Her brother actor, too. Anyway, she's a devout. Yeah, she's a devout Christian. And she was saying, you know, uh, Joy was saying, well, you know, they got a museum of evolution and we, we are not in our... Uh, form that we started in that it evolved from over periods of time and so uh, she got very upset with that because she was like you know you know one thing about Christianity is and what people you know you you try to be smarter than God and she said now God said he created and then Joy said well that's your that's your belief but I don't believe that because Christianity is about faith that's true 
All right, that's true. I present by faith. So here's the thing about this. The problem with the world is everything has to be proven yep. to them. Mm -hmm. But God don't owe us no explanation about no how he do anything. Y'all saw how the sun was this evening. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's the part. Then they'll say that's because of the eco ecosystem. No, it ain't. That's God. <laughs> that's God. And so people will believe in God, but they don't want to, they want to reject their son. And so John says, listen, you gotta believe in the son. If you're gonna have truth. Alright? He says you gotta believe in the son, Jesus Christ. And to love one another as he commanded us. All right. Now, here's where we're going to go. We're going to do the first five, six verses, and then we're going to go. In chapter 4, 1 John chapter 4, let's look at these spirits. Because everybody that say they come in the name of the Lord may not necessarily be in the name of the Lord. You got to try the spirit by the spirit. Test spirit. And the way that you test spirit is not by how I react. But it ought to be how you react. Because you got your own relationship. Alright? What happened the other night? <laughs> I had got summons to a meeting Monday with the bishop. But, you know, <laughs> um, it, wasn't a, it wasn't a bad meeting. It was a meeting to clarify and solidify some things. That some things happened out of order that he didn't agree with, but he just didn't want to embarrass. He said, now, if that would have been Jeff, he would have stopped. So I did. So I would have. I would have got the mic and say, uh, sir, have a seat. <laughs> I'm serious. All right. So let's let's look at these spirits. Verse, verse 1. Chapter 4. Beloved, believe not every spirit, but try the spirits, whether they are of God, because many false prophets are gone out into the world. Boom. <clears throat> I'm dropping the mic. Yeah. <laughs> right there. So you mean to tell me if a prophet walk in here and say the Lord said no. 300 <laughs> <laughs> the Lord said see a lot of folks gonna get in trouble because they lying on God yep. the Lord say do this well, why he didn't tell you first why, you, why don't you be an example alright the Lord said because if the Lord truly said it then you ain't gonna have to pry nobody to move Then you gotta understand that there are people that they that they get up and that's their MO. You know they finna say something about sowing the seeds, so folks they get their purses and they wild and ready anyway. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just saying. So he says, don't believe every spirit. Don't believe it. But they say it in Jesus' name. That don't mean nothing. I keep telling people, you watch, watch this. You watch people that speak in tongues, you watch people that speak in unknown tongues, you don't know what they saying over you. You don't cast out no demons and no devils speaking in no tongue. He says, at the name of Jesus. At the name of Jesus. They got to flee. If you see a, a, a real demon buster, you will never hear them speak in tongues. But you will, hear, you will continue to hear them say, Jesus. And they will command that spirit to come out in the name. They ain't finna speak in no tongue. Because the devil don't care nothing about that. He don't know what you're saying no way. Man, my body just got his body. <laughs> okay. Um, so he says, don't believe every spirit, but test the spirit. How, did you, how do you test the spirit? I ain't no spirit tester. How do you test the spirit? How you test the spirit? Now, Jesus Christ. Lined up with the words of God. Well, let me tell you, let, let's just be very practical because this just happened and it's just ironic that we talk about this tonight. How did you feel Sunday night? <laughs> just tell me how you felt. I actually, when, when we were sitting there, I, yeah. I said to Sheila and, and Melinda, I said, just talk about this <laughs> the other day. And it, it was like it was, it was just, I guess it was just different because you had just brought this to us, mm -hmm. you know, that you have to be mindful of mm -hmm. that kind of stuff. But how did you feel? 
What I knew you, it wasn't right. What did you feel? That it wasn't God. Okay. What else? <laughs> what kind of emotions did you feel? I was Stay in the spirit. But I said it before I know. When okay. he said that, when he, when he put that scripture up there, he said that, yeah. I was sitting next to her, and I was sitting next to another lady. Yeah. And I looked at, at Sabrina, and I looked at the other one. I said, that's not what that means. <laughs> I said, he didn't say it. He took it totally out of the I said, he is. I said, that's not right. I said it loud, too. <laughs> and I put my hand over my mind. I said, that ain't what that means. But how did you feel? I felt like he was crazy. Somebody said it felt out of place. I felt out of place. Mm-hmm. What else? I felt like getting up telling them to sit down. <laughs> 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 All right. What else? What else? Anybody else? I felt deceived. And I, I think I feel deceived a lot mm-hmm. when giving is started. When giving is categorized. Right. I feel like that. Yeah, that's a tactic yeah. to, mm-hmm. to get people to feel like they're not going to be let. It is. Yeah. So just, I mean, that's why you have you ever heard me teach on first fruit? Mm-hmm. <laughs> have you ever heard me say we're gonna break first fruit off? Now I know y'all have been in some places where they do that. You know why they do that? When you get your income tax. <laughs> <laughs> when you get your oh, we're gonna we're gonna break we we're gonna have first fruit money. Why is it? <laughs> Latter part of January and February. <laughs> See y'all, y'all ain't ready. <laughs> then some people say, okay, I'm gonna get my first room and pay my tithes for the rest of the year. That's the that's the con that they do. Mm-hmm. Alright. But what I'm what I'm trying to get you to understand is, and the reason that I asked you how you felt, is because if as Monique said, if you felt deceived, then your spirit should have been troubled. Mm-hmm. And the reason that I can sit there any longer. Well, a whole lot of stuff was going on prior behind the scenes that y'all didn't know about. All these presentations kept on like, man, dude, what, you know, what y'all doing? You know, and then oh, you gonna do yours after? I can't. Don't let me come after this man. It's almost eight o'clock. I ain't even for the bill when you I ain't. And the whole thing is, and I keep telling people, and and preachers gonna have to get this, or they gonna lose a whole lot of folk in their congregation. The only, the reason that I'm a proponent of time, and I tell y'all all the time, don't nobody watch the clock like me, all right? Because I understand that we are in a different time. I understand that most of you in this room, you work five days a week. You got children, some of y'all got grandchildren, some of y'all got other stuff, stressful jobs, and you need a woosah time, all right? And so I want to be a good steward over your time. So when we come, we want to start on time, we want to end on time, because the only day that 95% of you have to do nothing and rest is Sunday. And so I refuse to keep you in church three or four hours. And I tell one of my coworkers the other day when I went to UAB, she was saying, um, you know, she was like, well, you know, most African-American churches, they don't, they don't have uh, night service because they stay in church five hours. I said, well, you ain't never been to the old. <laughs> We don't stand church on five hours. We, we in and out. And the reason that people come because they know what time we're going to start and they know what time we're going to get out. And here's the thing. This is what people say. Well, the spirit, how, look, baby, listen. The spirit is intelligent. <laughs> it calm and it don't stay. It, it blow like a wind. It calm and guess what? When it get through, it's over. You can't do nothing. That's no way. And so what happens is, what is, what is happening in the body of Christ is that People don't know the spirit, and they let people guilt them into doing stuff that they don't even agree with. So that's why he says, test the spirit. Because if God has said something in the spirit to the person that's leading the worship, then ain't nobody going to pry. If I, there have been times, you know this. And I ain't, I, don't call him, I ain't no prophet. I just move when God tell me to move. But when God tell me something, I say, it's five more folk need to come. Then I ain't bribing folk. I ain't telling folk, you know, go to this person, go to that person. If God say five more people going to come, they're going to come. 
Now, what you don't understand is this. There have also been times that didn't nobody come and God said that they came. Guess what happened? They'll come to me after the church. It was me. Well, why you didn't get up? Because <laughs> I was trying to make sure it was God and not me. So you got to test the spirit. You got to test spirit. So quit being duped into folks saying, you know, God told me. Because we got a whole lot of Facebook evangelists. And Twitter evangelists. And Instagram evangelists. And all this kind of stuff. Alright? And so, you you can, what I keep on telling people about social media, social media has made it so that we can be anybody we want to be. But can, but, can, but can we follow you home and you still the prophet? Okay. 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 I ain't even gonna. So you gotta test. You gotta try to spirit. So that's why I tell y'all all the time. Don't don't take my word for it. You study yourself. And if I'm wrong, tell me I'm wrong, or help me help me to get right. That's what. That's how we take spirit. All right. I spent too much time on that. I got. I'm out of time. Well, I got three minutes. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. He says. Uh. He says. Uh. Da 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 da. -da. Many false prophets have gone into the world. Now, if you know many false prophets have gone into the world, then that lets you know that many false prophets are in the pulpit. Mm -hmm. Cause I keep on telling people this. I don't people that are in the titles and you you know you got to tell them this. You you watch that. Watch that. Because many people, and I want people even on Facebook, you know, people got, you know. They name, but then they got they title in front of their name. Well, that let me know that person want to be their title and not be themselves. Because I ain't my title. What's on your checkbook? That's who you are at the end of the day. Ain't no deacon on your checkbook. Ain't no, ain't no bishop on your checkbook. They don't, they don't do that. They don't put titles on there. They, they don't do that. You are who you are. What's on your birth certificate? And so what happens is, People try to be something that they're not, and they try to be something that they want to be too soon. All right? So watch these spirits now. He says, now they false. So you got false prophets that are going into the world, and then what verse 2 say, uh, 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 Monique? Hereby know ye the spirit of God. Watch this. Every spirit that confesses that Jesus, that Jesus Christ is come in the flesh of God. Yep. And every spirit that confesses not that Jesus, that Jesus Christ is come in the flesh of God. Is not of God, mm -hmm. and this is that spirit of Antichrist, mm -hmm. whereof ye have heard that it should come, mm -hmm. and even now already is it in the world. Go ahead, verse four. Ye are of God, yeah. little children, yeah. and have overcome them, yeah. because greater is He that mm -hmm. is in you than He that is in the world. Mm -hmm. They are the world. They are of the world, mm -hmm. and therefore speak they of the world, mm -hmm. and the world heareth them. Mm -hmm. We are of God. Mm -hmm. He that knoweth God heareth us. Mm -hmm. He that is not of God heareth not us. Mm -hmm. Hereby know we the spirit of truth and the spirit of error. Okay, let me unpack this and then we, we, we go. He says, okay, every spirit that acknowledges that Jesus Christ has come is from God. But every spirit that does not acknowledge Jesus Christ is not from God. Hmm. All right? We talked about that last week. We talked about the Confucians. We talked about the Muslim. We talked about... Jehovah we talked about all these folks, the Mormon, that that deny uh they don't they don't don't acknowledge Jesus Christ, all right, and that he came from God. They just say it's God, we ain't worried about Jesus. Alright. He says, This is the spirit of what? Antichrist. Mm -hmm. Spirit of Antichrist. It didn't say it was the Antichrist. Mm -hmm. It said it's a spirit of Antichrist. Alright? So any 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 religion that denounces Jesus Christ as the Son of God is the spirit of Antichrist. Which you have heard, he says, you heard that was coming. All right? And not only have you heard it's coming, it's already here. All right? Everybody's saying, you know, some people made a mark in Starbucks, not putting Merry Christmas on, and then Donald Trump going to talk about, oh, and if I become president, we're going we gonna to become a nation of Merry Christmas. What else? <laughs> you know? What else? If you ain't living it. Because here's the thing. There is no way that you can call yourself a Christian and not be concerned about the poor because Jesus was. He was. That's right. If you're a Jesus follower, if you're a God follower, he was concerned about the least of these. Yeah. All right? But they ain't really concerned about the least of these because, like I told one of my friends the other day, who was Caucasian, if you get up and go to work, you're a Democrat. That's right. Point blank period. Mm -hmm. 
I don't care what you make, how much money you make. If you get up and go to somebody else's job, you're a Democrat. Because real Republicans don't care about nobody. They make money when they sleep. You may vote Republican, but you ain't no real Republican. <laughs> All right, then he says, he's already in the world. Then he says, children, uh, uh, because the one who is in you is greater than the one that's in the world. They are from the world and therefore speak from the world's viewpoint. So don't get upset when people say, oh, uh, it's all right. Marry who you want to marry. Do what you want to do. Why you get, why you get so bit, of, bit out of shape? Because they're they going from the world's viewpoint. That's just, I mean, people got upset with the president. Oh, the president has sold himself out. No, he has not. He has not sold himself out. He has to uphold the Constitution of the United States. And so he cannot discriminate against uh, uh, people because of their sexual orientation. So he simply said, hey, do it if you want to. Because Obama understands that he ain't got to stand for nobody but himself. But then this is what people say. But you a Christian, you ought to stand up. You, can't lo you cannot legislate morals. You can't make everybody believe. And so that's what, the, that's what the other side is trying to make people do. You can't make everybody believe and think what, how you think. That's why we in America. Why do you think folks come to America? Because in these other countries, if you don't believe like they believe, they're a kid. <laughs> Serious. All right? So, the world's viewpoint, we ain't going to never agree with what the world is saying. Because the world, we are, we are the enemy of the world. All right? So, it's not by coincidence that Starbucks and took the Christmas off their cups. Y'all still going. <laughs> y'all I mean, still gonna go to Starbucks by that high coffee. I mean, no, it is what it is. I mean, that ain't gonna stop you. Red cup, blue cup, green cup, whatever. I mean, it doesn't matter. Donald Trump has put his foot in his mouth because he had one of the most highest, highest grossing Starbucks franchises in the United States. That after he said what he said, they said, "Oh, we moving out." All right, so. The world's viewpoint will always be different from our viewpoint, but it should not change who we are. Here's what you got to do. Do like me. I don't argue with folks. I just say my, what, I, what I believe, and I just say this. You can believe what you want to believe. I ain't going to argue with you. I, I don't go to work and try to evangelize folks. I'm in the hospital room. I don't do all that. You a Muslim? Okay, bro. Awesome, I'm a lady. Whatever you believe. <laughs> it, ain't, it ain't my job. I mean, you know, you believe how you want to believe. All right? Because if you trace every religion, they got what they got out of this. And they twisted it how they need to twist it. To make it fit what they were saying. What they want to say. All right? So, here's the thing. In closing, I love Farrakhan. Farrakhan says some good stuff. But I don't believe that God is pleased with a blatant disrespect of any race. All right? And so Muslims are real anti-black, which is, I mean, that's, that's fine. But I'm going to heaven. And it may be some white folk there. I don't know. Might be some, if you think the Ricky Smile, all kind of folk there. But anyway. <laughs> um, but um, if we are God's people, we should be a people of love and not hate. And so that's the issue that I have politicians, that's the issue that I have with some of these parties because they say they love God and they fuck God, but they don't look out for the people of God. And it's not a hand out. It's a hand up. Alright? It's a hand up. And so, uh, if, the, if you look at the statistics, and, and, you know, I know some people don't, some people are not, don't, I just get bored sometimes and I just do research on certain stuff. I looked at a statistic the other day and they were talking about welfare. And what they, what they don't want you to know is that it's more white folk on welfare than it's black. And guess what? Those of you that are staying in houses and neighborhoods that you, that you know, are up, it's some Section 8 in that neighborhood mm -hmm. with white folk. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. They stand in $300,000 home paying $200 a month. Okay. Equal opportunity. See, it works both ways. We just don't know it. They just don't tell you that side of it. Right. All right? And so that's why in the mid-50s, Martin Luther King uh, Sr. 
as with other prominent black uh, 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 preachers, started their own bank, started their own credit union. Because what was happening was the churches were going to banks, and they were <coughs> they would they wouldn't lend them money, or they had some crazy stipulation. They wouldn't lend them money. And they said, "Well, we're gonna stop taking our we're gonna stop taking our money to the to the, to the white bank, and we gonna have our own bank." And so that's how Citizen Bank of Atlanta got started, which is still in existence today. That lends totally to African American churches, and African American business. But that's the part that they that you won't see it on CNN. It won't be on NBC. Won't be on Fox News, of course. <laughs> so um, we live in a, we live in a time where if you want to know the truth, you got to look for the truth because it ain't gonna come to you. They ain't gonna tell you, but you got you got you got to find.